Oh, <laughs> Now today you are alone. What happened to the other people? Where are the others? I'm very glad. Okay. Mr. Sawa, Sawa, Mr. Soma, what's your name? Hmm? 
Okay, let's look at the set theory. Now we talk about the set theory. We just write a set theory. Any well-defined collection of group. Any well-defined collection of group of object is a set. Any well-defined collection of group of object is a set. E.g. Set of all courses. Set of all courses offered in Destiny College. Comma. All HD one students in in Destiny College. Students studying comes in Destiny College. Now we continue by looking at the requirements of a set. Requirement of a set. Requirement of a set. One, a set must be well defined. A set must be well defined. I.e., it must not leave any room. It must not leave any room for ambiguities. For ambiguities. Number two. The objectives the objectives the objectives bracket elements or members then you close your bracket objectives bracket elements or members then you close your objectives you close the bracket from a given set from a given set from a given set must be defined. Must be defined. I.e., each object must appear once and only once. Each item must appear once and only once. Number three. The order of the presentation, order of the presentation of elements of elements of a given set of a given set is immaterial. Immaterial is immaterial, e.g. one, two, three, or you can just say one, three, two, or you can even start with two, three, one. So the order of the presentation of elements 
of a given set is immaterial. Now let's look at the specifying set, I'm a naming set. Specifying sets. So in this case, when you're trying to name the sets, so you continue by saying, by convention, by convention, sets are specified or named. Sets are specified or named using capital letter. Using capital letter. Further, the elements of a given set, the element of a given set, the elements of a given set are designed by either listing all the elements, are designed either listing all the elements or by using descriptive characteristic, or by using descriptive characteristic or patterns. E.g. A will be equals to zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. That is the listing all. Listing all. So the uh, the we are we are saying that when you are talking about a set, it must have the set must have a capital letter. That is why we talked about A. Or you can say A will be equals to bracket whole numbers. Whole numbers from zero from zero to six, from zero to six. Or you can say A will be equals to zero, one, two, and then six. So when you're trying to look at this particular set, you're going to find that when you deal with a set, you must have, it must have the capital letter. So you continue A, set membership, right? set membership. Set membership. So you could, a set membership is expressed by using a Greek letter. A set membership is expressed by using a Greek letter. Greek letter, epsilon, uh, is known as epsilon, which is written as this one, that one. So you can say that three, uh, A, three epsilon A. Now that is, or you can say five, epsilon A, which means that into bracket, epsilon is member, member of A, that is a member of A. So that is how you can write, now the next we got to B, B, we talk about the affinity set, affinity set. Now we talk about affinity set, it simply means that that particular set is going to be consist of a limited group. It's going to consist of a limited group. So it's continuous finite set, 
a field set consists of a field set consists of limited consists of limited or countable or countable number or countable number of elements countable number of elements eg you can see a has seven members a as seven members a has seven members or therefore a is a finite set therefore a is a finite set because this particular one is countable you can count the number of members so a is a finite set now the next one we have the infinite set uh, let's look at the infinite set and infinite set and infinite set so we talk about an infinite set consists of unlimited consists of unlimited or uncountable number consists of unlimited or uncountable number uncountable number unlimited or uncountable number of members so you cannot the members are unlimited now you can continue by saying eg eg a set of all odd numbers a set of all odd numbers odd numbers so you remember the odd numbers are unlimited so those ones you cannot count that's known as an an infinite set now the next one we are going to have a subset a subset a subset So you can see that a subset f of a, sub, a subset a sorry a subset of s a subset of s so you are saying that a is a subset of s now it seems it, it, it so we can say that all elements in s all elements all elements in s all elements in s all elements in s are members of a are members of a are members of a eg if s equals to if s equals to 1 5 then s is a subset of a then s is a subset a subset of a remember when you look at that particular a there's an element of one and five so that's why we are saying s is a subset of a denoted 
denoted as A. So you can denote like that. Equally, equally A, equally A is a superset. A is a super, superset to S. A is a superset to A, denoted, denoted, a S. Now the next one you go to equality of set. Equality of set. Uh, let's look at the equality of set. Now we talk about the quality of set. That is a quality of set. Now we talk about the quality of set. If all members in set D are also in D2, and all elements of D2 are also in D1, then that's we talk about equality of set. So you continue by saying if all members all members, if all members in D1 are also in D2, are also in D2, and all elements, all elements in D2, all elements in D2, in D2 are also in D1. In D1 are also in D1. Then are also in D1. Uh, then D1 and D2. Then D1 and D2. D1 and D2 are equal are equal d1 and d2 are equal so this in this particular case we are looking at the elements of different sets so we have the d1 and then we have the d2 so in eg let's look at eg d1 equals to a c and d2 equals to a C C A F. Then when you look at the D1, we have the element A and C, and D2, we have the element C, A, and F. Now, uh, what I'm talking about is the quality of a set. You see that if all members in D1 are also in D2, and all elements in D2 all are also in D1, then D1 and D2 are equal. Now, D1, for instance, EG, we have the D1 equals to SC, and D2 is equal to CAF. So remember when you look at this particular D1, this one we have the two elements which are also present here, they're together. Then you can say that D1 will be equal to D2. Now you can continue. Then, sorry, further D1, still under that, further D1, it's a subset of what? D2. 
D1 is a subset of D2. So we're going to IE, each set is a subset to itself. Now let's continue. We look at the next one, which is known as the members of universal sets. Members of universal sets. Members of universal sets are denoted by this one R denoted by this one. Now, when we talk about the universal, we are going to use that particular sign. Now, we continue by saying the universal set is that which contains The universal set is that which contains universal set is that which contain which contain or which contain all elements all elements under consideration. All elements under consideration. So when you're talking about the universal set, we are looking at those particular sets which contain all elements under consideration. The one you are trying to consider, so you continue by the uh, analyst, by the analyst, analyst or the researcher or the researcher so those are the elements which you are trying to consider for us now to come up with the result or what you are trying to investigate now you continue uh, by saying Let you, that's universal, let you equals to set of all students, set of all students in destiny, in destiny college. Set of all students in Destiny College in the year 2021. In the year 2021. So S1 will be equals to students, students. in accountancy, uh, let's say students in ATD. S2 will be uh, the students in CAMS. And S3 will be the students in CPA. And then S4 is all female students below 20. All female students below 20 years. Okay, let's continue 
We go to the next one. The null or the empty set. Null, or we call it empty set. The null, or we call it the empty set. Now, what's the null or empty set? Now, this uh, this is the set with no elements denoted. Uh, this is the set with no elements denoted, denoted by denoted, denoted E. So we say E will be equals to, then you open the bracket, then you open another bracket. So there, there will be nothing in that particular bracket because the set also we may, we are going to enclose with a bracket, get together. So you continue, or you say A will be, equal, will be equal to this one. Now that means that there's nothing in the bracket. Now, number, the next one is known as complement, complement of a set. Complement of a set. Complement of a set. When talk about a complement of a set, so that continue, just continue by saying, if you, if you equals to Universal set, if you equals to universal set, if you equals universal set, and A is a subset of the universal set, and A is a subset of universal set. A is a subset of universal set, then, then the complement of A, then the complement of A denoted, denoted A with that sign, A with that sign, or you can say A complement. A complement represents, A complement represents all elements in the, in the universal set. Represent all elements, a universal set. All elements in a universal set, which are not, which are not members of A. Which are not members of A. E.g., we can continue by saying, E.g., A, A equals to all numbers, all numbers from zero to six. And U, which is the universal set, is going to be all numbers, all numbers from zero to 10. Then A, then A, the A complementary, A complementary will be equals to 
all numbers all numbers from 7 to 10 will be all numbers from 7 to 10 now the next we are going to look at a pictorial or diagrammatic pictorial or diagrammatic or diagrammatic Victoria or diagrammatic representation of a set. Representation of a set. Now, uh, this particular set will always be represented in a form of a diagram. So we are going to have uh, those two diagrams which you must understand. Now you continue by saying this is done using Venn diagram. Using Venn diagram. Venn diagram. Bracket. Named after the 18th century, named after the 18th century, English, after the 18th century, English, uh, logician, known as John Venn, John Venn. So is the person who developed this particular diagram is known as the John Venn. Now, in this particular case, when you are representing this, you are going to have the diagram like this one. So, if you find this particular diagram, this diagram we call it a single set or we call it ordinary set. It's not a universal set. This is known as single set or we can call it ordinary set. not a universal set then you are going to find this particular diagram in a set theory and that is uh, the diagram known as the universal set universal set so there will be two main diagram which we are going to use that's going to be a single set and also the universal set so the universal set is for the all the elements which we are under we, which are under the consideration. A single set is going to be for a subset. It is the one which you are going to is going to be inside this particular universal set. We are together. So you continue by saying. Uh, if you have the universal set equals to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is the universal set. That those are the all elements under consideration. Then maybe we have what's known as the Uh, maybe we have the a a equals to one four three two five six so if a is that one now we want to represent this one you see the diagram then what you are going to do First, we drop the, this particular diagram, 
this is known as the universal set. Then you are going to draw the simple set inside. Now, in this particular case, remember that A is going to one, four, three, two, five, six. So these are going to be inside the simple set. One, four, three, two, five, six. Now remember that we are the complement complement set. That is a complement. Those are the set which not appear in the simple set, but they appear in the universal set. You are together. So that's going to be which one? Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. So those are known as the complement set. They are not and inside the single set. So that is when they are trying to present that one in a diagram. So it's going to be, it's going to look like that. So you continue, you let set algebra. Set algebra. Set algebra. Now I say that this consists of ways or operation set algebra, that is set algebra.
union of Q will be equals to one, three, two, five, six. Then what to do? We can now have the set like this. Now in this particular case, when you look at this one, one, two, three, one, three, five, six. Therefore, one is present here, one is also there. Three is here, three C is also here. So we have one and three. They're together. Then two is not here. So this is going to be P. We take two here, which is it's not represented in the Q. Then Q, we are going to have five and six. Get together. Now let's go to intersection offset denoted. Intersection offset denoted. intersection of set denoted by this intersection of set denoted by that this consists of elements in both p and q this consists of elements in both P and Q, element in both P and Q. It is the common area. It is the common area. It is the common area. Now we can say that P intersection of Q will be equals to one, three, because these are the, the elements which they are sharing. So we write it like that. And the and could be used, and could be used in place of this one, in place of this sign which is the intersection of set. <coughs> now, <coughs> let's go to this, the next one, which is known as set difference or set this junction denoted by set difference or set disjunction denoted by that sign. Here, the P Q consists of elements, consists of elements, consists of elements in P, but not Q, but not Q. i.e. two, i.e. two, whereas, whereas Q, P equals to five, six. You stand for union. You stand for union.
Now we continue. The next one we have symmetric dif difference. Symmetric difference. So when talk about this symmetric difference denoted by denoted by this sign. Denoted by this that sign. That's a Greek letter delta. Greek letter. Greek letter delta. Now these are elements in P, but not Q. Or in Q, but not P. These are elements in P, but not Q. Or Q, but not P. I.e. P delta Q will be equal to P Q then union then you open the bracket again Q P then you close which will be equal to you open the bracket 2 5 and 6 so remember, the two was not there in Q, five was not there in Q, in Q, in P, and six also was not there in P. Now let's continue by looking at now the law. I want us to look at, okay. I want us to do example for set theory. Just pick your uh, business maths. I'm a business calculation. I'm a business statistic for HD. I want you to go to question August 2021. August 2021. Question five. Question five. The there, right? B, B, B. It says a market researcher in Kaza Town. Is that one? Yes. A market researcher in Kaza Town is investigating consumers' preference for three beverages: coffee, tea, and he gathered the following information from the sample of 1,600 consumers. So we have for 62 coffee, for 92 tea, 652 cocoa, 60 took all the three beverages. Get together. Then uh, 142 coffee and cocoa. One uh, to twenty two only and three seventy two cocoa only. So, uh, they want us to a present the above information in a Venn diagram. So, you write your Venn diagram. So, we want to present above information in a Venn diagram. So first we are going to draw the universal 
which is going to be that. Now we have how many? We have three beverages. So we are going to have the single one. The second one, it must be like that. And then the next one. So let this one to be tea, pop tea. We have coffee. And then we have cocoa. You are together? Then they are saying that. Uh, 60 took all the three beverages. So we are going to record here 60 because they are taking all the three beverages. I hope you are together there. Yeah. Then uh, 220 took coffee only. So the coffee only is going to be this one. You are together? And then 370 took cocoa only. This is going to be 370. So if you want to get the, the, the consumer of, okay, when you go to 460 took coffee. So we have the coffee here. This is the coffee. You are together. So for 60, we took coffee. Now again, for 90, took tea. Get together. So if I had to get coffee and tea, it's going to be this point alone. Get together. So we can give this one to be A, this one to be B, and this one to be C. Okay, 140 took coffee and cocoa. So instead of giving this one to be C, this one is going to be one, 140. We are together. So if you are to get A, this A is going to be A will be equals to the total consumers of coffee, which is how many? Coffee is for 60. So it's going to be for 60 minus into bracket this one plus this plus this we are together so it's going to be 60 plus 140 plus 220 therefore a will be equal to Forty. Forty. So the one is to coffee and tea is going to be what? Forty. Get together. Now, in in this case, we can get our B also. So B is the one which is going to tea and cocoa. So we say that B will be equals to what is the co cocoa? Cocoa is going to be for ninety. So it's going to be for ninety. Six. Yes. Six fifty or six fifty minus into bracket one forty plus three seventy plus what sixty. Eighty. So B will be equal to eighty. Now, after getting this and this and this, now we can get this one. Get together. Now, because the T, they're saying the T is for ninety. So uh, let's give this one to be C. So we say C will be equal to uh, for ninety. 
minus into bracket 40 plus 60 plus 80 to give us Three, three, ten. Now remember, this is the customer. So let's find out. Remember, we are given sixteen hundred to consult. So what are the total number of consumers? So the total value, the consumers, will be equal to three ten plus forty plus two twenty plus uh, 80 plus 60 plus 140 plus 370. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it's going to give us. Twelve? Twelve twenty. So if this is twelve of twenty, twelve of twenty, therefore we have those particular consumers who are not going to take any of the three prevalence. We are together. So the consumer, not taking that one, consumer not taking all beverages will be equals to 1600 minus 1220 to give us 380. So this one we write it outside there. You're together. Now, that is the first step because they want you to prepare the Venn diagram. Now let's go to the second part. 380. OK, sorry. 18. Let's go to the second part, the second one, that's number one. Number two, the number of consumer who took tea only. If we say that uh, the number of consumer who took tea only is going to be what? 310. So you write the number of consumer who took tea only is 310. You get together. Now the second one. The number of consumers who took coffee and tea only. Coffee and tea only. It's going to be 40. You're together. The number of consumers who took coffee and tea only is 40. Then the number of consumers who took tea and co cocoa only, 80. I hope you're together. And the number of consumers who took none of the beverages, three ages. I hope we are together there. Want to check November 28, 2019. Question five, I'm coming. November 2019. Sorry. Yeah, 2019, question five, I'm coming.
uh, the, the recent continent athletics games were attended by 300 athlete, athletes from this from three regions, namely uh, Eastern, Western, and Southern. The following information relates to the athletes who attended the games. So we have the number, we have 300 athletes represent the Eastern region. Yeah. It's 380. Okay, 300 represent, uh, 300 represent athletes. 300 athletes represent the Eastern region, 160. Western region, 180. Southern region, and it's uh, 70, both Eastern and Western. And then we have 60, represent both Western and Southern. 90, both Eastern. Eh? 66. 66, okay. And then we have 96, both Eastern and Southern. And then 15, represent all the three regions get together so let's prepare the Venn diagram and then now in this particular Venn diagram we have how many for all 15 so this is going to be 15. And now, if that is the 15, which represent for all region, then the same. Um, 70 represent both Eastern. So let this one to be Eastern. This one to be Western and then southern. So in this particular case, the eastern is seven. The eastern and western is what? 70. So this is going to be 70. And the next one is going to be western and southern. Sorry, oh, we don't. Western and southern is 66. And then um eastern and southern 96. so in this particular case now we can find out the one to present eastern alone so eastern only eastern only so let's say this is a b and c so eastern only will be equals to 300 minus into bracket 70 plus 15 plus 96 to give us 200. which one is 200, oh, 200 sorry Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay, Western only. That is C will be equals to one sixty minus into bracket nine uh sorry 70 plus 15 plus 66 
39. Then southern only. It's going to be 180. It's going to be B equals to 180 minus 66 plus 15 plus 96. Three. So let's that is going to be three. So let's find out what uh, the total uh, representative. Uh, that's going to be nineteen. The total. Calculate. Will be equal to uh, 19 plus 70 plus 39 plus 15 plus 16 plus 96 plus 3 to give us. Three, eight. but to how many? This are three eight. See here. That's three or eight. Then uh, we want to find the number which do not represent any. So uh, this is going to be for us to get this. It's going to be three eight. Minus three or eight to give us what? Seventy two. Now let's go. That's the Venn diagram. Let's go to the second part. The number of athletes that were not represented, who are not representing any of the three legion, that's going to be seventy two. Get together. Number two. The number of athletes that represent only only one region. So the only one region, only one region will be equal to three plus thirty nine plus nineteen. That's only one region. Two sixty one. Sixty one. Now the next one is the number of athletes that represent two region only. Only two region will be equal to ninety six plus sixty six plus seventy. Huh? 232. 232. And then the last one is the number of athletes that represent at least two regions. So at least, at least two region will be equal to 96 plus 66 plus 70. Plus fifteen. Three seventeen. Three three seventeen. Should be more than oh three seventeen. Yeah. What this is two thirty two. Yeah. Two thirty two. Yeah. So that one cannot be three seventy. Why three seventy? Two forty-seven. 
Uh, let's do the last one. That is May 2018. Question three. Now it says that question three C. African Advertising Agency has three is it? two, two, two what? thousand two thousand clients. clients who are who use who? different advertising. Okay, so we have the advertising. Uh, we have um, the first one is started clients are uh, using television. We have uh, radio, and then we have newspaper. We are together. So let's first draw the, the diagram. That the Venn diagram. So this is going to be the television, radio, and what? Newspaper. Now let's start by looking at their thing. It's that clients use television advertising. Seven hundred the clients radio. See there. And 560. Uh, newspaper 350. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. So nine. So this is seven fifty. So in this particular case, the one which I use advertising using the three is going to be uh, two thousand minus seven fifty to give us. So 50. So these are the ones which are going to use the three uh, mode of advertisement. So because you are not given for the all, so we are going to say let clients using all mode of advertising to be X. So we write here X. Get together. So after that, then they are saying that, uh, where is that point? Uh, 350 clients use both television and what? Radio. So this one, both. So we write here 350. A, 350 minus X. That is for television and radio only. They are together. Now we come to the next one. Uh, to what? Three what? For television and newspaper, it's three? 360. 360. Right. So we take here three. It's on um, um, three three sixty. The radio, 
So this one, sorry, 360 minus X. This is 330 minus what? X. You are together? So now, if you want to get this one, if you want to get this one, it's going to be the total clients you see for the TV, then we subtract this one. We are together. So for TV only, TV on, let's put this one. Okay, let's say TV only will be equals to how many number is this in TV? Eight that. So it is going to be 830 minus into bracket. 350 minus X plus X plus 330 minus X. Are you here together there? You're together? Then we open the bracket. Uh, that's going to give us what? 830 minus 350 plus X is it minus X minus three thirty plus X? You are together. So this one and this will cancel. You are together. So we remain with so this one minus this minus this is going to give us what. So that's going to be 150 minus plus X. You are together? So we come here, you write 150 plus what? X. Now let's go to radio only. Radio only. Uh, what the radio only is how many? 700. Yes. So we take 700. Minus into brackets, uh, 350 minus X plus X minus, sorry, plus 360 minus X. So we open the bracket, 700 minus 350 plus X minus X minus 360 plus what? X. So this one and this one will cancel. So that's going to be 700 minus 350. That's 350 minus 360. Negative 10. Negative 10 plus X. So that's going to be negative 10 plus X. Are you okay together? Now we go to this one, this paper only. Newspaper only. Uh, how many? So we said five sixty minus into bracket three sixty minus x plus x plus three thirty minus what? X. We open the bracket. That's going to be five sixty minus three sixty plus x minus x minus 330 plus x this one will, this one will cancel so 560 minus 360 minus 330 negative that's negative 130 plus x so this is going to be negative 130 plus x you are together so after that, remember the total number of clients is going to be 12 or 50. You're together. So we take 12 or 50 will be equals to uh, negative 10 plus X plus 350 minus X plus. 150 plus X plus X plus 
360 minus x plus 330 minus x plus minus let's just put it minus 130 plus x so we want to find x we want to find x so this one let's start this one will cancel here together uh this one will cancel here together this one will cancel this so we are made with one x here together so negative 10 plus this one is 3 40 so yeah plus 150 